Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about the Supernova 2023 IXF, which has just uh, gone off in Messier 101, the Pinwheel Galaxy. My name's Rob, this is Seven Skies Astro. First of all, a massive thank you to my subscribers. I really do appreciate you. And if you like this video, just give it a, a like and a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider say, subscribing. I really do appreciate it and it just helps my channel grow and it gives me a little bit of an encouragement. Now recently, I've just imaged this in my last video, funny enough, and it's literally a month later when the supernova's gone off. Now, last night, uh, we had a, a bit of a clear sky, when I say a bit, we had um, very high cirrus clouds, but I thought, I'm going to see if I can take this supernova. So, I've only just got 20 minutes, so I'm going to blink it between the one uh, it, luminance from last month and luminance, uh, 20 minutes luminance of last night. Now, it's the early data says that it's a type to supernova and that is uh, when a, a giant star collapses as it's uh, burning its fuel it burns uh, hydrogen helium all the way through the elements until it gets to iron and when the iron iron builds up in a core it can't fuse because it takes more energy to fuse iron and so what happens is the the gravity we're not getting enough uh, core pressure to stop the inward pull of gravity and that causes the star to collapse and you get a rebound and that's when the star explodes. There's some talk about the star being around about 15 solar masses, in which case there's a good chance it's probably going to make a black hole. But as I say, we, I imaged it last night and that's what I've done. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, flick onto the computer now and uh, I'll see you in a second. Well, I'm here in Pix and Sight. Um, I've loaded the two Blink images in. One from um, last month and one from last night. And if you just blink them, I think it's fairly conclusive. The supernova, it's really, really is bright now, isn't it? Uh, you can see the difference between a couple of hours data and a couple of minutes data the noise but um overall you can see it there it's quite quite bright and what i've done is just uh i've just loaded them in no flats or bias or anything like that taken and i've i think that's a uh, you can see the gradients. That's the full moon one. And that's last night's not too bad. I mean, actually, it's really weird. The last night one looks quite good. But you can see that really is a bright... A bright supernova. And as I say, it's a, a type 2. Now, how bright this is going to get, I think it could possibly go... It'll never go naked eye, but you certainly, under dark skies, this galaxy is very hard to see anyway, because it's such a big one. It's a, a third of the size of the full moon. But uh, if you're using it, you could probably four and a half inch telescope would, uh, would see this with, with your eye. Uh, that would be a, a Newtonian reflector, or maybe even a, a 60 millimeter uh binoculars held really steady but you might have a bit of job you might have to lie down on a lounger because it's pretty much overhead uh, over here in london now and that's where it was when i captured that um it's just a shame i didn't quite catch it before and you know it's it would have been nice to to get the 
there's there's just blinking that star there it's really um <clears throat> really impressive explosion completely destroying or destroy the solar system but 21 million years ago that went off or thereabouts depending on how far uh, it says it is but it's um that's what it is well that's it guys just a small a short one it's always interesting to see something like this when something transient like this happens uh, as I say, unfortunately, you can only get 20 minutes with um, 10, 2 minute subs. Um, but I'm, 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 I've got the supernova, so this is going to run on for maybe a year, uh, depending. But because it's, it's going to follow it, it's, it's like curve going down. And um, I say, up to a year before they go. So I'll see you in the next video. Because I have been uh, doing a little bit of imaging, but because it's summertime here in the UK, I'm only getting a, really an hour's worth of total darkness. So I've been trying to get some images. Um, I'm working on a galaxy now, but we haven't had uh, uh, a lot. But I've done a, another Im image of uh, the elephant trunk, and um, I'll be, that'll be on my next video. But this is just a quick one, just to show you um, what's happening up there in the sky. Um, so clear skies and I'll see you again.